Good day everybody. This is another video to help you prepare for your EDPM paper one exam. And this is for people who are preparing for EDPM exam, CSEC EDPM that is. This is a part two video of solution papers for questions CSEC usually ask on their paper one. In this video, I will be going through 15 questions. A continuation video with numbers 16 to 60 will be posted subsequently. Before I go into the questions, I'm going to ask you to subscribe if you have not subscribed before. Like the video, share the video, check out my other videos, like and share them as well. And I'm going to also ask you to comment because I really want to hear from you and watch the ads. Like I help you, I ask that you help me by watching the ads, liking the videos, sharing the videos, commenting, etc. All right, so looking at number one, number one says, which of the following can be considered a file retention method? A, archive, B, version control, C, version number, D, backup systems. And your answer is A. Number two, the best mechanism to secure files against corruption and uncontrolled access is a a virus b a password c encryption d restricted access and your answer is b password from the options password is what is used to secure files against corruption and uncontrolled access number three a document that is used for the initial recording of data relating to business, business transactions is called a a source document b template document c turnaround document d machine readable document and your answer is a source document when it comes down to database management which we used Microsoft Access to do, and Mail Merge, which we used Microsoft Word to do, anytime we type our initial um, information, our data rather, that initial recording of data is referred to as source data. That's where you get your source from, in other words. Number four, which of the following is used to protect the integrity of files? A, passwords, B, firewalls, C, destruction dates, D, override protection. And your answer is D, override protection. Override protection has to do with protection of the integrity of files, which is not to be confused with the security of files. Number five. Which of the following is located at the lowest level of the file structure in an electronic filing system? Your answer is file. File would be at the bottom of that list. Moving on. Number six. Which of the following best guard computers against viruses? And your answer is C, installing antivirus programs. Number seven, which of the following symbol indicates that a literary work is protected by copyright? And your answer is C. Once you see the C in a circle, that sign represents the copyright symbol. That is the copyright symbol. Number eight, Intellectual property is best de defined as the A, rights of a person to own his creative work, B, protection of the rights of a person who produces a new invention, C, use of another person's work without acknowledging the source, and D, rights of a person to express how he or she feels in documentation. Your answer is B. 
intellectual property is all about the protection of the rights of a person who produces a new invention. Number nine, which of the following is not protected by copyright? A, films, B, books, C, broadcasts, D, inventions. And your answer is D, inventions. Patents protects invention, not copyright. Moving on. Number 10. In-text citation for the APA style is C, open bracket little, comma, 2015, close bracket. D is very close to it, but if a P and a full stop was in front of 75, then the answer would be D or C, but I don't think they would put two answers in, in, in one question. But because 75 in this case is a page number, P and a full stop would have to be in front of 75 for it to be a contender in the answers. Number 11, which of the following is an example of a literary work? And that answer is A, poem. Moving on. Number 12, which of the following lists is placed at the end of a research paper and includes information on the titles of sources and their authors and publication date? Your answer is bibliography. Bibliography is what you find at the end of a research paper or reference page. Number 13, which of the following actions would be illegal under the uh, Copyright Act? A. Asking the owner permission to use one of his photographs in a book you are writing. B. Citing a quotation in an assignment. C. Purchasing an original movie and making a copy for a friend. D. Preparing a bibliography of books that you used in an assignment. And your answer is C, purchasing an original movie and making a copy for a friend. That is um, illegal under the Copyright Act. Number 14, a student was given a number of tasks to complete. His or her ability to complete the tasks efficiently is most dependent on C, time management techniques used. From all the listings there, Time management is your answer. C, time management techniques used. Number 15, what legal principle is being violated if a non-genuine copy of Microsoft Office is installed on a computer? That answer is D, copyright. This is the end of my the first part of part two. Um, paper solution to your EDPM question. The next video will have questions 16 to number 60. Thank you for sticking with me. I'm going to thank you for watching. I'm going to ask you again to subscribe if you have not subscribed, like, share, comment, and remember to watch the ads. Bye guys.